It's Twin, Twin Soul, Soul Poets. Poets. We are your go-to couple for love and relationship advice. Dope spoken word poetry. And uplifting content. Today we are sharing with you our reaction to the 10-day transformation with Kundalini Yoga on Camilla TV YouTube channel. Uh, we just finished this 10-day process yesterday mm -hmm. and we're feeling great and we're going to tell you what our experience was like yeah i'll start by saying it was intense <laughs> we've always really enjoyed practicing yoga but only fairly recently found out about kundalini yoga um, which is just another form there's yin yoga there's um, hot yoga there's vinyasa yoga there's so many different forms but kundalini was really interesting for us because it deals with awakening the dormant energy that lies at the base of the spine that sometimes compared to a serpent that kundalini energy and rising it up through all of the chakras and out through the crown to help have like spiritual awakening experience. So we were very intrigued and decided to kind of dive in with um, this woman who is amazing on YouTube named Camilla, who took us through a 10 day practice. Here we are on day 10 of our 10 day transformation with Camilla on Camilla TV. Now, I'll be having some mixed feelings about Camilla throughout this 10 day process. <laughs> uh, she is an amazing teacher and the class is incredible, but she really does like push you to your limits emotionally, physically, spiritually. Um, we both had a lot of like emotional releases throughout the process and it's pretty intense. The whole thing is kind of designed to push you up against what you thought were your limits and so that you can release old fears resentments self-doubt all that stuff all that crap that's in the way um and kind of just connect with your divine highest self that's the whole purpose of it and i feel like it works <laughs> that's one of the things that was so impressive to me about camilla's teaching style is her ability to open you up to a willpower that you might not even know you had within you and you know that constant reminder that those physical and emotional barriers are really illusions anyway so that was a big takeaway for me from doing this process and here you can see us at the beginning of each practice we would tune in and kind of activate the energy get it flowing, stimulating what she said were called the nadis, um, those nerve endings in the fingers, and getting ready to open the practice with the mantra that Kundalini Yoga always begins with, which is Ang Namo Gurudev Namo. And that would just tune you in to your true self. And it was one of, became one of my favorite parts of the practices. This one's my favorite, the heart protection mantra. I think these mantras were one of my favorite parts about the practice. Um, Camilla kind of ties them into the physical exercises that you're doing and she'll give you the meaning of these uh, ancient words and they're powerful and what's particularly nice, they kind of get stuck in your head as you go about your day and it's a really nice thing to have 
um, sort of playing on repeat in your mind, these things about like, um, I am the true self, I am bowing to the divine within, um, and it just kind of has a way of extending the practice beyond just that hour of yoga. Yeah, I totally agree. I found myself coming back to Satnam throughout the day, um, especially if I was feeling like anxious or, you know, upset or anything like that. I, I like was naturally coming back to these mantras. And I really like how during the practice, you can see like, um, we're meant to focus at the third eye and to repeat Satnam. And it's, it's almost like um, building up a practice of focus and learning how to keep your focus um, in one place while you're doing these exercises so it's like like you said it follows you off of the mat and helps with focus in your day to day which i thought was really powerful as well i also just want to say that those frog movements that you might have seen um a couple seconds ago were like my right calf is still recovering from that um you know we did the first time i think it was 52 repetitions and then this yeah, final day was it was lot. 108 54 was a lot i think it was 54, 54. The first day, and i was already like oh my god that's the last day she, she goes was 108 like, repetitions 108. And i was like <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Yeah, I mean, she's she's Australian, so her accent, you know, when she's was just, um, I don't know, I came to like it over time, but she's just encouraging you to breathe deep. It must be deep. Yeah. Keep going. It doesn't matter. And I'm like, it does matter. I'm dying. <laughs> That's where some of those mixed feelings were coming in. I'm like, I hate you. I hate you. <laughs> it was intense. She's like, you can do it. You must face it. But it was the victory, you know, this, this, um, the day 10 was called victory and it did feel like an accomplishment to, you know, keep moving anyway when, when it felt like I couldn't. Yeah. And also I just wanted to say like how powerful it felt to, when I shifted the focus for myself and started, um, sh extending the energy out to the world and to, to people, the healing energy, um, it was easier to keep going. Um, that was a really powerful experience for me. Mm -hmm. Did you know And I that? think that can be part of like the setting the intention in the beginning if you set an intention that has you know the real purpose for you it's like bringing yourself back to that intention because so many poses that you will do like every day will make you feel like you have to quit like mm -hmm. and you're just like i can't do this forget this <laughs> like i'm tapping out but you know having an intention gives you a purpose to like push through it push through it and achieving this thing and um and also just based on the intentions uh i forgot to mention about the manifestations that happened because she does have you set the intentions at the beginning of each practice and two days in a row i manifested unexpected income mm -hmm. um fifty dollars one day and then almost eight hundred dollars the next when i had set an intention from unexpected income and that was really exciting too because it felt like you know understanding how to direct the flow of energy with intent and mm -hmm. so I loved that and I loved being able to do that for myself and also to share that with others yeah it's it's a powerful I mean there's just so many levels that this is powerful on and I believe that you will see results both within and without if, if you really practice this for sure so Sat Nam, everybody. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel, Twin Soul Poets, for more awesome content like this. And we're leaving the link for you down below to Camilla's 10 day transformation if you want to try that out. Yeah, let us know if you give it a go um, and tell us how it went for you in the comments. Um, let us know if you felt as uplifted and inspired as we did. And also, please share your spiritual practices, the things that keep you spiritually grounded, that also expand you spiritually, and maybe we'll give them a try ourselves. Maybe we'll do a reaction video to that. Yes, perhaps. And also, don't forget, you can book 
private love coaching sessions with us on our website, twinsoulpoets.com. Click the love coaching tab. Our private sessions are where we can dive extra deep and get really specific to how you can manifest love. We did it. Yay. Yes.